Hi friends! Welcome to Kitchen Princess Bamboo Japanese Everyday Food. Today I want to share with you how to make Anpan sweet bread filled with red bean paste. Have you ever tried this delicious sweet bread which is staple in Japanese bakery? What I like the most is Kimuraya Ginza Tokyo. They created Anpan for the first time in the Japanese history. They make Anpan with Takadane starter, which is made of rice koji just like miso. So aromatic and moist. I want to recreate it at home, but it's not easy to access. So I experimented to recreate the texture. And I have gotten more than 60 pieces of Anpan in the end. I offered those to my local temple. For their monthly gathering. Let's get started. First, let's make the dough. Put your bread flour into your stand mixer bowl. Add in sugar and salt, mix to combine. Meanwhile, beat the egg and add in the whole milk. Save a tablespoon of egg mixture for the egg wash. Add in the yeast and continue mixing. Because the sugar and salt might deactivate the yeast, add in later to avoid direct contact. Pour in the egg mixture, slow and steady stream. Add in water to adjust the consistency. As I said always, do not add wet ingredient all at once. If you do that, It's going to take more time to form a dough. Turn the speed to medium when it forms the dough. Knead the dough for 5 minutes until very smooth. Add in room temperature unsalted butter and mix until incorporated for about 3 to 4 minutes. The dough stretches paper thin, it's good to go. Shape into a bowl and place in the greased bowl. Cover and let it rise for about 45 to 60 minutes or until almost double in volume. While we are waiting, divide ankle into bowls, 40 grams each. After 15 minutes, my dough rises almost double in bulk. To know whether or not your dough proofed or not, poke the dough with your dusted finger and if it's not spring back, you can go on to the next step. Take out the dough and divide the dough into 12 pieces, 40 grams each. Shape into a bowl and take 5 minutes bench rest. What bench rest do to the bread dough is relax the gluten, make it easy to shape. Lightly flour the working surface, then roll the dough out into 10 cm in diameter. Make sure the center is thicker than the edges. This is because when you rub the ankle with the dough, the dough will gather on top and it makes thick layer on top. To rub the ankle with even layer of the dough, keep in mind to roll out the edges. Press the ankle in the center and pull up the dough and pinch the edges to stick together. Pinch to seal the end. B 
Be careful not to dust your dough with too much flour. Your dough won't stick together to seal. The other shaping method is like this. Roll the dough out into 50cm in diameter to cover the ankle. Place the ankle in the center, then put together the edges. As you see, my bread dough is sticky compared to the normal dough, but this is what we are looking for. If your dough is easy to handle, it will make a dry bread. That is not what I'm looking for. When I was a beginner, I was not comfortable with a sticky dough like this. It annoys me a lot, but once you understand how important the hydration, you can't go back to any other recipes. It makes so moist and flavorful dough, like the artisanal bakery. Flatten the dough into a disc and let it rise for 30 minutes or until puffs up like this. Brush the egg wash we saved earlier. For the finishing touch, you can simply cut slits with the kitchen scissors or use a rolling pin to make a dent with sesame seeds. This is the typical shaping for the ampam. Pop in the 190 degrees oven for 12 to 15 minutes or until golden brown. Rotate the baking tray halfway through. The sweet bread dough is likely to burn faster. Keep your eyes on it for the last 5 minutes. There you have your ampam. Take a look at the inside. You can see the dough is even. It's a good ampam. It's an old-fashioned bread, but I crave it sometimes. The dough is melt in your mouth, and anko is so sweet and flavorful. I love to serve ampam with milk. It goes so well together. It's a classic combination for detective eating at the long night. Isn't it funny? It's just like a donut and coffee in the United States. I hope you will give this recipe a try. Thank you for watching the video. Give me a big thumbs up and share the video with your friends and families. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Follow me on the social media and tag me on your post if you give it a try and go to my website for the printable recipe and more information. And go to my website for the printable. And my store on Amazon has pretty much everything that I'm using in my video. Stay safe and stay healthy, and I will see you soon. Bye!